Hey guys, I am finally getting around to my UK order and yes, that does include some kitchen items. I know that doesn't really help you guys out now because obviously kitchen items are only good for a certain amount of days and um, yeah, if I have them, that means that you can't get them now, but they do like to come back onto the kitchen, so just wait around if you like them. Today, I am going to be showing you a cyanide pill bath bomb, lemon sherbet shouter, super tramp bubble bar, volcano foot bomb slash soak, Lord of Misrule body conditioner, and the Waylander Razul soap. First up is the cyanide pill bath bomb. Are you ready to take a calculated risk? One intoxicating acid yellow shell, plus the toxic delicacy of almond essential oil from the parched terracotta landscape of inland Majorca, equals you're in for a volatile ride. Be lured in by the woody fragrance of rosewood and breathe hints of refreshing lemon oil. Then watch as the two halves of this bomb fizz uncontrollably before detonating a hidden mercury silver slick. Yes, it looks cool. This thing is awesome, but let's talk about that scent. It smells like straight baby lotion. I wasn't too excited about it, but not too bummed either. It's just not what I expected at all though. Visually, it looks like it's gonna be a striking citrus of some sort. As I sat in my baby lotion scented tub, I started to notice some woody, musky man scents and fell in love with it. It's Quite a surprise. Speaking of surprises though, as I was watching it dissolve, I noticed chunks of silver popping out. I thought they were solid. Boy, was I wrong. There's so much shimmer, it had no idea what to do with itself, so it clumped together. I have never seen a bomb with this much shimmer. This reviewer's post made me laugh. Like, a little glittery surprise, seriously? And it has a bunch of popping candies. Like, bombs with popping candies are the best. It is an amazing bomb. It is still on the UK site buy it. Lemon Sherbert Shouter is next. The only reason why I got this is because it's called Shouter. What? Let Lemon Sherbert put you in the driver's seat. Let Lemon Sherbert take your clean to another level. It's so lemony. Next wash, savor zest to impress with lemon oil and lemon myrtle. You'll see things you've never seen, do things you've never done. When you want the squeakiest clean there's ever been, make sure you're on the citrus scene. So the product photo on Lush's site shows a plain yellow powder. When I first poured this into my hand, I was a bit startled at how different it was. The balls, the powder, the wonderful citrus scent. It barely hits the water and starts foaming like it has rabies. This stuff is unlike anything I've ever tried. Shouter is the shit. It is so awesome. This particular shouter has a grittiness to it and makes for a perfect exfoliation. It left me feeling really clean. The only problem is that you need to pour what you want on the outside of the shower and then bring it in with you because that cardboard box is not shower friendly. Don't even keep it in your bathroom. Nowhere near moisture. Other than the packaging, seriously, buy yourself some shouter. This is the Super Tramp Bubble Bar. Obviously, only half of one. Get down and dirty with the earthiest bubble bar this side of the forest. Its mossy blend of patchouli, sandalwood, and ginger says you're not out of the woods yet. Simply crumble under running water and slip into fresh green waters so mossy they feel like an illicit fumble in the undergrowth. Go all out if you fancy a super bubble bath or save some for next time if you want to prolong the experience. Not so much green water, but I really enjoy this bubble bar. It was one of the easiest to crumble and it almost dissolved immediately after the water hit it. I love the shimmer in the water, though the color obviously was pretty much clear. Super Tramp made my skin feel so unbelievably soft. The scent lingered for quite a long time after. The blend of patchouli and sandalwood is just perfection. <sighs> All these scents in this room right now, just all of these together, it, it is a little ridiculous. It's a lot, very strong. Strong sense. Next up is the Volcano Foot Balm or Soak. On the side it said bomb, on the little paper it says soak. It's one of them. It's definitely not the mask though. So if you're thinking of the mask, this is not the mask. It's like the mask, but it's not. Sometimes you need to take the weight off your feet and simply sit a spell. Give yourself a mini spa experience by releasing this herbal hero into warm water. Designed to look like a cooling volcano, the gray is the ashes and the inner core resembling the molten lava. This soak is small, but it's a long dissolving one, lasting around 10 minutes. It's about the size of the newer version of Butterball. Right away, my feet felt silky soft. There is a noticeable difference in how smooth they feel. My feet are pretty dry right now because of the winter weather, but the dryness completely disappeared after using this balm just this one time, and my cuticles looked a lot healthier as well. My feet had a slight cooling effect, but it didn't last long. This balm slash soak is not anywhere near as intense as the mask it shares its name with, 
but for simplicity, this volcano is very nice. But for a real foot game changer, stick with a mask. Yeah, it's messy, but the benefits last a lot longer. I really love the way the water looks in Volcano, like at the end with all the shimmers and stuff. So at the end of this video, I'm just gonna put more of that clip in so you guys can be mesmerized too. What everyone has been waiting for me to talk about, I'm finally gonna do it. But first. Really, it's just like, it's just vanilla to me. Anyway, Lord of Misrule Body Conditioner. You thought this unruly Lord's Fresh scent was only here for the festivities, but alas, here it is. After all, rules are made to be broken, or so Mr. Misrule believes. That's why he's put his name to this black pepper and patchouli oil body butter. Who said moisturizer was simply an after shower treat? Lavish your skin in a conditioning cocoa and shea butter mix and add a little moisturizing mischief to your morning, noon, or night. A note about body conditioners for people who have never tried them. It doesn't lather up and seems like it disappears really quickly, but this is because it's made to absorb into the skin. Once applied, you can either step into the water and rinse your body down or get out of the shower and lightly pat it dry. It may feel slightly greasy to some people, but you need to give it some time to absorb into the skin. You will feel much better afterwards. My gripe about this body conditioner is that I was expecting like full on Lord of Misrule scent, but it isn't all that strong and there's more of a vanilla than anything else. It does last a long time though, like I will get hints of it every once in a while throughout the day. It's just not as intense as the shower cream. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna totally like savor this every little last little bit. Last up is this guy. This is the Waylander Razul Soap. My daughter will not go anywhere near this soap. She hates the smell and like, for giggles, I will just kind of stick it near her and she totally freaks her out. She hates it, hates the smell, but you know what? It's not that bad. Beneath shower and running bath, scrub pumice over to soften skin. Smooth Razul mud deeply cleanses. From Atlas Mountains, it's sourced within. Breathe in the scent of fresh, rich earth as patchouli brings warming spice. When cleansing calls at morning time, reach out in haste and pick this slice. It is a different kind of soap. You're basically washing yourself with dirt. But hear me out for a minute. It's full of Razul mud, pumice powder, and kaolin. So it's not the most enticing of smells, but wow, like they exfoliate. Luscious sandstone soap is my favorite exfoliation soap because of how gritty it is, but truly this muddy clay-like soap would be my second favorite for getting rid of dead skin cells and opening up pores. It doesn't lather into bubbles or anything fluffy and pretty. It's very thick, creamy, and unappealing, but it's a workhorse. It's in its own little world, and I appreciate it for that. You keep being unique and different, Waylander Razul. That's all I've got for you guys this week. I do have a bunch more UK stuff coming, and I actually ordered almost the entire line of the Mother's Day stuff from the UK site because it is up right now. Yeah, I got Mother's Day stuff before Easter stuff, because I can. <laughs> Next week, I will be doing a bunch of stuff that I've had demoed for quite some time, but I've been doing all these other videos that they've kind of been put off to the side. So it's going to be stuff that you guys know and it's been around for a while, but I'm just playing catch up here. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Kitty! <laughs>